Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics with me, Get Dave. So off camera did a little bit of the grinding again. Um just because I was getting so close to so many things. I think Agrius is just gonna have to do time as a thief, which is something I was hoping to avoid. But she's close to mastering Geomancer. You'll also note I changed her to attack boost. We also have a samurai in the party at right now. Uh, truthfully, not a huge fan of Samurai, but I kind of want to see if maybe I can get some effectiveness out of them, because every time I play the game I try to discover something a bit new. Um, the most important ability that Samurai have is what was formerly Blade Grasp, now Shirohodori. So that lets you basically dodge almost every attack. And oh yeah, get David's a black mage, because why not? His faith's up to 67, so he can kind of hold his own. Uh, and really I'm saving up for flare, but uh, it's got fire, uh, so we've got one raw grid item. And the reason this is kind of helpful is the black robe strengthens elemental magic, so fire is just the one that's like the longest I think I can get away with. For where we're going, like, I don't know. This party configuration is not terribly well suited for what's ahead. I'm just gonna hit the old state save here. In case that happens. There we go. Okay. Yep. Let's do it. Oh good, why a graph? Huh. You're doing all the talking. Sees the world uh, in terms of nothing but power. Likes control. So he knows. Indeed they do. It's all real. Of an interesting uh, source of information. Hmm. They're playing a game with each other. Two master liars speaking to each other. Lude was captured. Alright, so those are the stones that Alma was caring for. Yeah, bring it on. Puts his 
head on his arms like he's posing for a photograph at a studio. Hmm. What about the scriptures? It's interesting, because I think really only the Templar want to suppress them. Alright guys. Some people in the comment section were commenting that there were so many things going on it was hard to keep track of who's who. That's about to become a bit simpler. Oh, I salute. Hope you all like the color red. You'll be seeing a bit of it. All right, uh, yeah, let's just go for it. I believe this is just the gate at Riovani's first. Uh, I think female, female samurai is like a the character sprite's not so cool, but the art is just awesome, I think. It's one thing I wish they had, the specific characters or the non-generics I wish. Their appearance would change a bit when they switched classes. More like Bravely Default, another game with art by Akihiko Yoshida. You might not want to stay loyal to the Grand Duke for much longer. Yep. <laughs> Just one more task. Yes, he would. Oh, Malik. Oh, Mark. I'm so shocked your faith score is low because you've got so much just in the wrong person. Genuinely thinks the Duke's looking out for him. Yep. As soon as you give those scriptures away. Yep. Never ever compromise to a person without honor. They'll just use you. Kind of hoping Rams would have a bit more firepower. In my mind, I was like, oh, I'm going to crush him with this staff. Um. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think Ramza can survive a turn. Might as well gun for the night. Our caliber can inconvenience him a little bit. Uh, let's see what he's got, though. Platinum Sword, I did buy one off camera. Um, so, I mean, some of that stuff would be nice to steal, but... More of a JP move than anything else. Not that I'd ever make a move solely motivated by the acquisition of job points. That should be enough. Yeah, she has the attack up ability right now. It makes her attack go up by a decent amount, we'll just say that. Alright, better percentage chance of success on her, so let's go for it. This will raise Agrius' speed by 50%. Look out, everybody, it's D nice. Also, I was kind of tempted to throw away or sell the remaining high potions I had, because uh, that'll help out. We'll only trigger using X potions. I don't know, maybe most of them will get exhausted in this fight. That's an amazing shot they're attempting. Elevation really helps your uh, weapon range when it comes to bow and arrow. Not crossbow, though. I didn't see Walter this whole time. Well, kind of nice to get his faith up a bit higher, even though this is not likely to succeed. Ooh. Word skill is surprisingly useful. Wow, two shots. A million mile shot, everybody. Well done, Archer. Yeah, we're getting access to some pretty powerful attacks now. Bow the options. Strike him down. Or him. There we go. Yeah, he's still alive. You are no match for this one. So, you know, people on our side have the ability to do the teleport of convenience. Uh, we can raise Ramza's Brave to the max if I use Steel once, and we're in close with three archers. The fight's pretty much over. Archers, not so good in close. They're no match for why Calibur is... Amazing charm! There it is. Ladies. Yes! Still got it. 60% of the time, it works every time. Uh, haste is delightful, so oh, I can't quite use it nicely. Alright, we'll go for uh, red rum. It's actually super disappointing. You could even miss. Also, those are our job points now if we choose to keep her. Uh, actually, no, I guess. She'll switch sides at the end of the fight. We have to kill her, she's just charmed. 
but if we used Invite on her, which probably has a higher success rate if you're charmed. Whoa. Always nice to know more abilities that turn people into frogs. So, that's a depth of one, so it's one lower than the actual tile value. I'm not sure if she'll be able to attack, because he's also floating on top of everything. So, we'll go for the frontal assault, even though this is much less accurate. Yeah. Katanas require bravery to do damage, which is most unfortunate. So, normally you would just- oh my goodness. And she critted. Oh my goodness. I think that's the most damage I've ever done at this point in the game. Wow. Uh, what was I saying? 867. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, so anyway... Her bravery is being incorporated into her attack damage as a percentage. So damage is PA of 8 times 12 is only 96, and then reduce that by 12%. So if you have really high bravery, it doesn't really make a difference if you're a samurai, and I mean that in a good way. Uh, low bravery though, pretty penalizing. And same goes for knights using knight swords, which have nice high strength amounts offset by requiring a high brave stat. She's killing everything. It'd be cool if Eurydice could take him out in a fight. Let's try using Yato. So, you use a katana, there's a 1 in 6-ish chance of breaking it, and then it performs a variety of attacks. So you need a healthy supply of uh, weapons to do anything, but aside from that, pretty cool stuff. Agrius accumulated so many kills, I'm tempted to just hang in here for a minute. And hammer through my potion supply as well. Wow. He really wants us dead. In a way, it's flattering. He has a crystal helm, that's pretty good. I could have White Caliber try stealing it. That's my new objective. Tailwind! And getting Eurydice's bravery up also. Side objective. And gaining as many levels as possible, which is probably just gonna be that one, because the next fight. Oh, it's for keeps. put him to sleep first. Oh my goodness. Fantastic news, everyone. That actually helps the steal percentage as well. So that's good news. I'll take the risk of turning into stone. Don't think we can really do anything about that if it happens. And I'm almost certainly going to forget to... Uh, Great. Uh, to uh, discard my high potion, so we really should go for any attempt to get rid of, rid of as many as possible. Steel Helm. Even in his sleep. Uh, 
metal, steel. All, for <laughs> all forms of the word steel are being used today. Brutus U is at 88 Brave coming into this fight, so we could increase her Brave, her, her maximum, by 3 points. Because again, a quarter of the Delta Brave is maintained. Meaning that your highest permanent Brave stat is 97. Also known as what Agrius is at right now. Oh, we won't bake him for money. I'm kind of tempted to go for something with a higher accuracy. Oh man, she's two for two. Actually, three for three. She also put him to sleep. Thought I only bought like 20 high potions, but this is quite a long time it's been lasting. Again. There we go. Okay, she's at her max. Everybody to the limit. Those archers should decay very shortly. I always feel bad dragging these things out, but uh, again, the next fight. I'm going to try to do it a non-traditional way as well, because the traditional methods for taking on this upcoming fight can be very slow paced, and in my original Let's Play of the game, I did it the slow way, so... It's quite a bottleneck where we're going. Alright, well, what else has he got? Winged boots, I mean, I don't own any. The robe's useless, but you know what? Yeah! Now push him into the water. Get Dave has the lowest base bravery out of everybody else, which is offensive. All right, what's that one at? Twenty-nine. Ah. Uh... Zap them both. Wow, 510. Okay. And now, storm the castle. I should have grabbed those crystals. They could have had good stuff. I suppose the treasures could have been good as well. Alright, everybody. Let's go inside Riovanni's castle. We're gonna have a good time then. Nothing bad waiting for us in there. No, sir. And in case I have not made this abundantly clear. Oh, you know what? Let's wait. to go. It's a courageous decision. Alright everybody, in case I haven't made it abundantly clear, 
always save on a different slot when you're given these chances. Also, be really careful not to exit these menus. Alright everybody, I'll see you in the next episode.